<laughs> hey everybody, sorry about the delay. Um, I'm having issues here with the connection. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm in the middle of town, so there should be plenty of signal. However, I am kind of near the high school, so perhaps that's the challenge is those kids and their phones. <laughs> so as you're hopping on, go ahead and say your hello. This is Elise of EliseLeininger.com. I'm a success coach to women entrepreneurs building businesses according to God's plan for their lives. And I'm excited to share with you today some encouragement. So as you're joining me, please say hello. Good to see you all. Running late because of the internet connection here. I don't know what's going on, um, but glad to have you on with me today. So say hello, where you're from, and we'll get started. Uh, so there's a lot of anxiety, I think, right now going on in the world, right? People are real nervous about what's going on on our political scene. People are really nervous about putting themselves out there, building their businesses. They're worried about their visibility, right? But if you haven't noticed, Facebook is full of video. So if you're not joining, doing your videos, well, you're going to get left behind. So I'm thinking we might need to be doing some video challenges, right? And um, encouragement around that. So that's coming. That's coming. So here we are. We're ready, about ready to, to get started today. And I want to encourage you today. I want to tell you that you, my friend, are a bright shining light. You are beautiful. You are full of joy. You know that the highest truth is love. You know deep within that your story needs to be heard by the world. And our world is so full of darkness and fear and people that are doubting themselves. So I want to invite you to be bold today. Get out there and sh share your story and do something for another person, right? Reach out, be the bridge, be the light, because that is exactly what we need. And I will also encourage you that when you're feeling doubtful, when you're afraid or you're feeling anxiety, and this could be about relationships, it could be about our, our country, our political scene right now, it could be about building your business, whatever it is that is you are worried about. Do you want to share in the comments what is worrying you right now in this moment? Um, here's my encouragement is pray. When you pray, when you meditate, it allows you to get your conscious mind out of the way. And when we bring ourselves to our prayer or meditation with a willing and open heart to allow God to come in and fill us up, allow that spirit, and I also call it the universe, that universal energy, right? When we allow that to happen, through prayer and meditation, what actually is going on is you're removing your conscious mind from your thinking thoughts, right? You're going into the spirit. And our spirit, remember, we are all one. We are all connected. And when we put on the armor of God through our prayer, we are ready to get out there and do whatever it is that we are called to do. We have to get quiet enough to hear that voice right? So making this a daily practice, it's sort of like you're going to the gym, you're working out. It's like you're prioritizing the highest quality foods for your body. You are literally tapping in to the universe. You're tapping into the infinite and the divine when you pray. So if you've ever felt like you're in your own way, it probably means you're not spending enough time in prayer. If you ever find yourself waking up in the middle of the night and you can't fall back to sleep, it's probably a signal. I always say, this is a signal from God. I need to pray. And I will spend that time that I'm awake at night praying. And it works. And here's what I'll do. I will just pray for whose ever name pops into my head. And I'll just say, God, use me right now. What would you have me pray about? Who would you have me pray for? And then I'll just allow all of these thoughts to come and these feelings to arise. And I envision myself being um, connected to that infinite light. And that infinite light is love, isn't it? So when I feel that connection, then I know that I can be what I, I call it. I, I'm in the zone <laughs> where I can be connected to everything and everything is connected to me. And so... I'm going to um, 
ask if any of you have ever felt disconnected from others or you're watching things happen and you're like, I just don't understand it. Well, remember this, people all go through different challenges in their lives that cause them to lose their faith. And it might be an abusive situation, it might be something nasty that happened to them or it doesn't make any sense or an accident or an emergency or we don't know. We just don't know. And so there's a lot of people in the world that are hurting and they haven't turned to the truth during those times. And so when somebody says or does something in the world, whether you know them personally or maybe they're a celebrity or whatever it is and it doesn't make any sense to you, I want you to pray for them. Bless them, bless their family, bless their business. Whoever it is, whatever they have done, whatever horrible thing that it is, because you are light and you are love. And there are times when we cannot answer the questions that we have about the situations going on in our world. And I'm talking some of those horrific things that are inexplicable. Well, it's my truth. My truth and my belief is that it's at those times that I am called rather than asking why, why, why and give me an explanation. My answer now, my belief now is that I am called to bless them because what would God do? What would Jesus do? He would do that, right? He would accept them. He would accept the murderer, right? He would forgive. And so for a lot of us, this is very hard to comprehend. But if you can make the commitment that it is in God's hands and God has a plan and that your role in it is to simply pray to bless and release and um, not get wrapped up in, in the drama, the negativity or the gossip of the world, then you're going to be able to live your life on purpose. And when you're living your life on purpose, you are right where you're meant to be. Do you guys see that for yourselves? Um, I hope that you'll take me up on this challenge today because this has been really weighing heavy on my heart to share this message with you guys is that when we cannot answer the questions of the moment and um, whatever it could be horrible things in the news or something political or whatever is you just pray about it because when you pray about it you can remove the, the thinking mind and you can allow and bring God into whatever it is that is challenging you in your human understanding. Because our human understanding cannot comprehend God's plan. Our human understanding cannot comprehend the will of man and the decisions that people make sometimes. We cannot comprehend that. So don't spend your precious time and energy on trying to formulate answers. Instead, pr spend that time in prayer and get yourself out of the way. Allow God to work through you and use you in what you were meant to do in this world. And it's going to be unique to you. It's unique to all of us. It is unique to you. And when you are able to find yourself praying for people or situations, then we allow God to work supernaturally like only God can do. We cannot answer all of the questions, can we? but we can pray. That we can do. And um, like I was saying last night, I didn't know half of those those places that they were talking about on the debate. And um, I'm a pretty smart person, <laughs> I like to think. But I didn't know those places. So I made a commitment to do some research and figure it out and then to pray for them. And the, the places that were mentioned last night are very significant in um, Christian and Jewish history. And so is it any wonder that we are facing these times today? No, it's not. And rather than try and figure them out all consciously, we need to go from our head to our heart and pray about it. Because there, I believe, we'll find the answers. There, I believe, God will be able to do his work through us. Because guess what? We have a lot of people watching this live stream right now. And if all of us commit to this, we're going to affect millions of people's lives. Because you're not going to keep your story a secret any longer. You're not going to feel the shame and guilt that you may have been feeling or the fear. Because that is not from God, right? He has called you to share that and turn your test into a testimony. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. It's confusing. 
and you face resistance and gossip and it does not make any sense but that is the way life is and when things don't make sense we just turn to God in prayer so um, I'll I think that what we should do is if you have things that you need to pray you need someone to pray for then share that in the comments if you want to um, I receive messages all the time from people about what they need prayer on and I receive messages from people about how I've helped them um, really tap into their calling and their purpose according to God's plan and that just lights me up but I will say this it's not me and I am humble in the fact that I know God works through me and I can be come right out and say that it's not me I don't have an agenda for people when I coach them <laughs> right April <laughs> um, I do, it just happens I don't the questions just come out so as we close, I want you all to just shut your eyes and I will do a quick prayer for you and a blessing, okay? So, um, dear Heavenly Father, please let everyone watching this right now know that the truth of the universe and the world is love. And we get mogged down because we're human, because we don't see the forest for the trees. We just get hung up on what is the next step rather than trusting that the plan is there. It's already laid for us. All we need to do is continue to walk in faith. So please light each of us up with your Holy Spirit today. Let us shine bright into this world, this world of darkness, this world that needs us, this world that needs us to share our story, to build our businesses, to give big through our time, our money, our energy, and our prayers to those who need it so much. So please bless each of the women who are watching this video now. Bless their businesses. Bless their families. Bless the time that they have spent on this live stream with me. And let them feel that deep, knowing that they are in the right place at the right time and allow them to feel the faith and the purpose that they will walk without fear of what's to come. In Jesus name we pray this believing. Amen. All right, you guys. I hope you were able to hear this. This was a little um challenging with our connection on the internet here, but um here we go. All right, I have to run to lunch, so hopefully you guys will pray for each other and just be committed to this, and um, just pray for anything that comes up in your mind that you are really having a hard time with. Pray for one another as you're commenting here. Um, we'll come back to these. We'll pray for that. And